Hey friends, tonight we are flying to London, England, and I am so excited. I have never left the United States before. This is my very first time, and I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. We're going to be flying out of Orlando, Florida, making our way to Heathrow in London, and I figured I'd document the whole experience. The in-flight meals, the travel planning, and just have a beautiful London kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Before I make my way to the airport, I have to say goodbye to this little beauty right here. I love you so much, Gracie. I, I'm having a little bit of a uh, separation anxiety. You know, it's really hard for me to leave her. I kind of just want to cancel the trip and lay in bed all day with her. That's literally what I've been thinking about all morning. Like, I don't need to go to London. I could just stay here and cuddle Gracie all day. But I have to go. And I'm so sorry. I'm going to miss you, babe. I miss you. Gracie is actually going to be staying with some friends and I am so sad. I really don't want to leave her. Like it's breaking my heart. Have you guys, do you feel like separation anxiety from, I know animals can feel separation anxiety, but I feel like I'm going to have separation anxiety from leaving her, but I know my friends will take good care of her and they're going to give me plenty of updates. I normally don't travel with a lot of luggage, but since we're actually going to be going for such a lengthy amount of time, I decided to actually bring a full suitcase, so I'm going to have to check that. And I could bring a carry-on, but I just decided I'm bringing my Harry Potter backpack. So this is all I'm bringing with me. And I think that's going to be good, because I think we're going to be over there for 13 days, maybe? I normally always take an Uber to the airport because you can leave your car here if you want to, but being gone for such a long time, I'd rather just be sitting at my home in a nice little safe spot, but we are here. We made it. We're at the Orlando International Airport. We've made our way over to Virgin Atlantic. I've never flew with them before, so I'm kind of excited. One of the main reasons I'm actually going to London is because Star Wars Celebration is happening and I'm going to be there with the Roosevelt's crew. So I'm going to be at the Roosevelt's booth during Star Wars Celebration at select times. And once I figure out which days exactly, I'll let you guys know. I'll be there every day, but there's going to be a certain time that I'll be there. But I also want to do other things like around Europe itself. Maybe even a trip to Disneyland Paris, maybe. So there's going to be a lot more videos, not just this travel video. So you guys be on the look out for those gotta weigh the bag here oh yes here you go 16 pounds my suitcase is that leaves me a whole lot of room to buy a bunch of stuff to bring it back with our flight doesn't depart until 6.55, but I wanted to get here super early, so I got here at four o'clock because I've never flew, you know, to another country before, so I don't know if there's gonna be any tangle ups or anything like that. Normally, I like to stroll in like an hour before the flight, use my clear, and just walk right on in, but you never know, you gotta be cautious. We're about to make our way through security, but I always like pointing out all of the theme park gift shops they have here at the airport. You got SeaWorld there, the magic of Disney store over there and then this is the Hyatt right here. It's a hotel inside the airport and there's no wait time. Hey, look at it's 11 to 15 minutes. We're gonna be in this airport for three hours now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can't even believe that. We're going to be leaving here, like I said, at 6.55, and I think we're landing in London at like 8 o'clock in the morning. So we're taking the red eye, so we're going to be sleeping all night, and in the meantime, we could probably get something to eat now. Sure, we're going to have food on the plane, but I'm kind of curious. I, I want to show it all. I got my passport just for this trip alone, and now that I got it, I can go anywhere. I can go anywhere. My favorite part of the airport is going through security. I take my dogs out, got to take the laptop out, you know. Got the laptop separate, got to take the shoes off. Bada boom. Put them in there. There we go. Oh, this one's got to go over this way. We're all clear. We literally took, it took 10 minutes to get through security. It wasn't even 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna, I'm literally, it's not even, it's not even five o'clock yet. We have a full like two hours here. Oh, we gotta hop on the APM. This is a people mover, Dustin, you know that? It's a people mover. 
Oh, there's our flight right here, I think. Yep, Virgin Atlantic on time, 6.55 p.m. I think the reason I love the Orlando International Airport so much is because of these little APMs. I think it's just so nifty. It's a rocky ride. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> This is my first time being in this terminal too. And they've got everything. They got a Bahama Breeze, they've got a Nathan's Hot Dogs, they got an Outback. I think we're gonna get something to eat and just relax for a little bit. Like I said, we got a lot of time. As you can see, they've got Bahama Breeze, they've got a Duty Free store, and then they've got an Outback. They got an Outback. Wow, maybe we might go to Outback. And then over on this side, we've got Nathan's Hot Dogs. I think we're gonna head into Outback, sit at the bar, maybe get an old fashioned and some shrimp on the barbie. Shrimp on the barbie. I like how they put up all these wood fixtures. Kind of makes you feel like you're in an Outback and not in an airport. It's got a nice little bar area too. I ended up getting an old fashioned and the bartender that's taking care of us wrote her name on here, Coco. I thought it said Katie at first, but she also wrote my name on here, Nate. And Dustin, look at that. Fancy. Cheers. And all of them, but cheers. To London. To London. To London. To London. Cheers. Here is the shrimp on the Barbie. And I don't understand because it looks like it's shrimp on a garlic bread. <laughs> right? Yeah. Is it shrimp on a, or maybe that's how it's supposed to go. Shrimp on a breadie? Shrimp on a shrimp on a garlic bread. This shrimp looks amazing, nicely seasoned, and I'm, I'm hoping to get some good food in me because, you know, from my past experiences with airline food, it's not the best. So I'm probably gonna be wanting to eat it later on, and uh, shrimp is one of my favorite foods. Now that we've had some delicious shrimp and a little old fashioned, I wanted to come over and see if I needed any last minute purchases before we get on the flight. Maybe I'll grab some Chex Mix and maybe uh, an Orlando, Florida shirt. Something, I mean, there's a lot of Disney stuff inside this little gift shop. Look, they even have uh, Mickey Mouse salt and pepper shakers. You never know if you need to actually have uh, grab a last minute souvenir. Oh, look, they got nice, fancy Orlando hats here. You know, I think I might get this because I want everyone in London to know where I'm from. So I might as well just, you know, sport an Orlando hat. Perfect. Look at that. Orlando. Now everyone in London's going to know that I'm not from there. <laughs> Another thing I always have to grab before I get on a plane is a bag of bold Chex Mix. It's Hell so yeah. savory, right? It's a tradition yeah. now. It's a, thing. it's a Chex Mix it's tradition. <laughs> well, we definitely killed enough time. Now it's time to head down to our gate. We're actually a little late. <laughs> like, we're, like we're rushing over. I think boarding is in one minute. But uh, I didn't want to show you a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, an airport is cool, but I'd rather show you things in London and the plane and when we land and stuff like that. So, time to get on the plane. Gotcha. Look at Mickey and Minnie. Oh, Mickey and Minnie's there. Thank you. <laughs> Are we late? I, I don't know. <laughs> we got 30 minutes till we take off. I don't know. Wow. Maybe they're just more like uh, on it. Like, yeah. Like Holy flight. moly. I didn't even go to the bathroom no, I beforehand. I know. I'm confused. <laughs> I didn't go to the bathroom yet. <laughs> The whole entire plane is almost boarded. It says departure at 6.55, it's 6.20. Hey, how are ya? 41 second right. Second right. Oh, fancy. Of course. They didn't go the way to get a new boarding pass of a new... This is the biggest plane I've ever been on. Holy moly, I've never been in a plane this big before. We are right here, my friend. Oh, nice. 
Oh, look, we got a little goodie bag there. Okay, we made it on the plane on time. I mean, we're just sitting here waiting anyways, and this is the biggest plane I've ever been on. Like, holy moly. There's upper class, there's premium, and we're in economy, and it's two seats, and I think I'm gonna be having, like, these two seats to myself, and then a little window. Oh, ah. Uh. I've never been in a plane that has like a middle aisle here like I've never seen this before but we have a little TV in front of us some chargers some analogs I don't even know what this does probably plays movies <laughs> our plane is an Airbus a330 and I think that's the 300 one too because I was looking at the different ones and I think our flight is gonna be 12 hours 12 hour flight time well with the time change I think it's eight hours but we'll be in London at 8 a.m. they give you these little headphones it looks like a nice little pillow and a nice little blanket and plus I have extra ones so I think I'm just gonna lay down here we're about to take off and it's true. I have my whole entire row to myself. But Dustin, Dustin has like six seats to himself. An airbag attached to make sure it's not twisted. Look at this. You can open your seatbelt like this. Best believe. Twin size. Just like college. I might put my legs up here. <laughs> We're sitting right on the wing of the plane here. Look at that. They got TVs in the armrest. <laughs> oh, we're flying out. Oh, we're opening up the windows. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, yes. We're taking off. Okay, now that we can take our seat belts off, I have to use the restroom. We'll go to the bathroom. Here is the lavatory itself. Look at this fancy little thing. It's a little bit tiny. I'm gonna lock that in. Oh, hello you. <laughs> oh, fancy stuff. Look at this. I like it a lot. I've never seen that before. Got a little sink. That's a trash can. Oh, and then the commode. I love watching this little world map here. Look at this. You actually see where you're going, where you're at. The drink cart is making its way around, and I've been on a ginger rail, like a ginger rail kick, so I think I'm gonna get some ginger rail, and then maybe a brew dog? They've got the fancy ginger ale. I, I don't even know why I said it that way, but they got the fancy ginger ale here, the fever tree. And then here's the brew dog. Brew dog. Nice little planet first lager. Oh, coming in hot. Wow, look how beautiful the sunset is happening right now. And look how bright the moon is. Holy moly. This is beautiful. Time to pop open the brew dog. It's very warm beer. That's all I have to say. It, it's a good lager though, but it's just very warm, like beer. I don't think they have uh, like fridges on the cart. They probably they probably keep them cold, but once they get on the cart, they're not cold anymore. So I don't know. I'm not too sure why, but I'm kind of in the mood for a mojito. So we end up getting mojitos. What did you get? He's got something over there. But look at the. I don't know if it's gonna fit in here. Now that 
that we've gotten our little mojito, which honestly, this is like one of the best mojitos I've ever had. It's time for the in-flight meal. The in-flight meal is included with their ticket, but we had to pay extra, I think, for the uh, cocktails. And they had a vegetable pasta and then butter, uh, butter chicken with rice. And that's what I ended up getting. And this is it right here. Let me unravel it here. Oh, this doesn't look too bad at all. Look at that. It smells actually really amazing. And then they give you a little dinner roll, uh, a sea salt caramel bar, uh, a cream crackers, cream crackers. We've got cheese, butter chips, and a little cucumber salad there. It all looks really good. I'm actually really excited to try this. This looks amazing, actually. I don't think I've ever had butter chicken before. But we're gonna try it today. You never had butter chicken? I've never had butter chicken before. Oh, I don't think you did for a treat, bro. Really? Well, I'm grabbing some. Oh boy, here we go. This is an excellent little dish right here. This is probably the best in-flight meal I've ever had. And now I think I'm gonna open up my little dinner roll here and make myself a butter chicken sandwich, except for it's a little hard. It's a little, uh, but I think they may have kept it refrigerated. I don't know, either way, it's really good. The butter chicken is also served with spinach, and I love it. I don't know if I should be having so much spinach on the plane now. <laughs> Gets me a little gassy. I've never heard of cream crackers before though. They seem pretty fancy. Mine's a little broken up though. Still gonna eat them though. Actually, I'm gonna open them now. Now it's time for dessert. I got the little brownie here and I'm watching Black Adam, but I want everyone to know I'm Team Shazam. I just love that movie. I like Black Adam too. If Shazam was on, I'd watch that. But here's the brownie. This is good stuff. You know what? This is good stuff. Now that we're finished with dinner, it's time to go to bed. I made my little bed here, and dinner was great. The butter chicken was amazing, the brownie was good, and I'm ready to cozy up, watch a movie, and wake up in London. Good night, babe, I love you. <laughs> Look at this nice setup I got here. I'm feeling good. <laughs> Dustin bought these really cool little like lamps that we can put our phone on when you put it on the tray table and I like that. I think it's really cool. Look how he has his over there. Sleeping little beauty. Okay, quick update. I'm in the laboratory. We are two hours away from landing in London and I haven't slept one single bit and I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't think we check into our hotel until four o'clock tonight. So I'm gonna be up all day. But I did find this cool restroom that is like three times the size of the other restroom that was in front of me. I've never seen an airplane restroom this big before. Look at this. It's huge. Look at us. Holy moly. Okay, we gotta go back to our seat now. I'm trying to get some sleep. We're closing in and only an hour until we actually land in London and they turned the lights on and uh, woke everyone up so they can serve breakfast. Got a nice little blueberry muffin. Got a coffee and orange juice. Some yogurt. Uh, blueberry pomegranate cookie bar. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it looks like uh, the sun's starting to rise. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. And now it is daytime. <laughs> We're about to actually touch down. I just heard the landing gear come out. Look at that, I can see London.
does it. Sounds like my car. Time to deplane the plane to get off the plane. <laughs> Goodbye. Now we're making our way through passport control. Gotta find our baggages. Well, we have officially made it to the UK. We crossed the border, got off the plane. We're in London. We're here. We made it. I'm tired. I did not sleep at all. I got maybe 15 minutes, like, and that's like on and off. But the flight was great. I really loved uh, the uh, airline. I thought it was amazing. And we lucked out because we had the whole entire road to ourselves. So we were able to just like spread out. But it was still very uncomfortable. There it is, the UK border. I have no idea what I have to do here. So I'm kind of shocked. It's all gonna be a first time experience. Looks like there's a very long line though. I don't know what that's all about. Looks like you walk up, scan your passport, and they take a picture of you. Let's see if I do this right. I just bought a new suitcase, so I really don't have anything on it to make it stand out like I know it's mine. I know it's a, a black one, but uh, I don't know unless they flip it upside down. There's my bag. Trusty little Roosevelt tag. That's the only thing I put on there. <laughs> We're definitely gonna be looking at getting some coffee. I need it so bad right now because with the whole entire taking the red eye, I need to try to stay awake all day today even though I didn't sleep last night just so I can get myself back on the regular schedule. And that's the plan, but I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I really could just fall asleep like in a little cozy corner over here. Right in the airport they have Cafe Nero and also some fresh flowers. Oh, this place looks so nice though. It's got couches. Look at these. Look at these nice flowers. So I think we're going to get ourselves some coffee. I wonder what they're making up there. Well, we officially made it out of the airport and we decided to just take an Uber over to our hotel here in London and it was actually a far drive. I thought the airport was kind of close to London, but it was like an hour drive. It was a, it was a pretty far distance. And also I forgot that uh, they drive on the opposite side of the road here, like in, in the vehicle. So I had to sit in the front of the Uber and it felt like I was driving the car. It definitely took a second to get used to, but I, I kind of appreciated it. Like I felt like I was in like one of those cars that drive itself but it was just somebody on the right of me that was driving and now since we're at our hotel maybe I'll give you a little room tour and then I gotta take a nap I gotta go to bed I, I am like kind of delirious at this point here is my hotel room for the night and uh, I'm gonna give you guys the grand tour so far, I have to tell you, there are a lot of things that are different here in uh, the United Kingdom than back in the United States. And one of them is the power adapter. Well, the outlets themselves. I had to buy a, like a power adapter, like a converter. I knew about that, but also maybe it's just this hotel, but um, like most of all of the outlets have like switches on them so you have to turn on the outlet itself but uh yeah kind of already got myself settled in and now i'm going to show you this is an amazing room with an awesome view i can't wait to actually show you we'll start right here as you walk in the door you have the bathroom right over here here's the light switch to the bathroom itself the toilets are different it looks like the shower fixtures are actually really nice it's got that rain shower. I don't know how to turn on the lights in here. Oh, maybe this little button. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a nice little bathroom, cozy. Got the door, got a little mirror over here. I don't know how to work this thermostat though. I think that's a thermostat. It's Siemens, brought to you by Siemens. And then over here, let me see. Got a big mirror. We got a little living room over here. The living room looks very nice. Got a nice little retro couch. Nice little dining table. We've got some Strotmore, still water. I think that's what it's called. 
a couple of other stuff maybe a little tea kettle some tea I don't know what these are maybe espresso that's what it looks like or Nespresso I don't know looks very fancy I think we got mini fridge down here got some books down there too wow I don't know what's in this side Oh, very nice. Yeah, so this is like the living room. And then this is the bedroom right here. The bedroom's really, really nice. Look at this. Got a nice bedroom. Nice big closet. I have my laptop set up. This is the power converter that I had to get, though. Look at it. <laughs> it's buried in there, but it's down there because these are the outlets. And look at it. <laughs> But yeah, I like it a lot. It's a nice little cozy room. And, oh, let me show you the view. You guys know I'm all about the views. <laughs> I love it. And this one actually is pretty nice, except for I think we're doing a little construction. There we go. We opened her up a little bit. But this is the view right there. Get a nice little city view of London. But they're doing some construction here. It looks very nice though. I want to go on that water. I see lots of boats out there. See, I bet you we can do that. That'll be another day, but I'm excited. I want to go in the Shard. There's a lot of touristy things that I actually want to do here in London. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm a tourist. That's what I am. I'm a tourist right now in London. So I want to do the touristy things, but I also want to do like the cool local things. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Like, let me know in the comments, send me a message, anything. I just want to explore this great city. And with that, I think we are done here for today. Like I said, I'll be here for Star Wars Celebration. Come to the Roosevelt's booth. I'll be there on and off. I know Saturday I will definitely be there from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. So if you want a guaranteed time, come Saturday at 12 to 2 and I will definitely be there. I'd love to say hi to as many people as possible. But the rest of the Star Wars Celebration, I'll be popping in and out at the booth and just walking around the convention floor having a good time and then and I uh, also plan on doing a lot of London stuff I mean this is a big big deal for me and I'm so honored to actually be here and be able to do this like it's 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 incredible it's always like I said I honestly it's a dream come true for me and I'm just so happy I, I really am and uh, now I gotta get to I'm gonna get to bed because I want to make sure I'm like you know energized and ready to go i want to experience the most i don't want to be too jet lagged you know so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for a lot more content coming from star wars celebration london paris a lot of great places i cannot wait to share it all with you so uh we'll see you next time bye